Good morning. One of the greatest advantages of React is that it's very versatile. You're not limited to using it only with DOM and HTML. You can actually render your components in all sorts of environments like text, you can make terminal-based applications, you can create native mobile apps, or you can create 3D applications. In this video, we'll make a simple demo using React 3 Fiber and React Spring. React 3 Fiber will allow us to render those cubes, and React Spring will help us to animate them. And first, I'm going to create a new React application. npx create React app, React 3 Spring. Now we go to React 3 Spring folder, cd React 3 Spring, and we need to install a bunch of dependencies. Yarn add React Spring 3. We'll need it to animate 3D objects using React Spring, React Spring Core, React Spring, and React 3 Fiber. That's the library that will allow us to render 3D elements as React nodes. And 3. It is a 3D rendering library that is a dependency for React 3 Fiber. Now let's install. Now let's open the editor and create a new component box.js import react and also a bunch of hooks use state use effect and use ref from react we'll need use spring to animate the rotation and scale of the boxes import use spring from react spring core and also import a from react spring 3. now we define our box component const box equals a component it will receive a prop position that will be an array of x y and z coordinates now inside of it we'll hold the state const active set active equals use state by default it's zero we define the spring const spring equals use spring and in this animation or twinning library we can specify the physical parameters of the twin so it will depend on our state active and then configuration will be the following mass 5 tension 400 friction 50 and precision 0 0.0001 now we'll use the spring to animate scale rotation and color const scale equals spring 2 from 0 to 1 from 1 to 2 rotation from 0 to math pi and color from 50c878 to e4585.8. Now let's return the layout. Return a mesh with uh, rotation y equals rotation, scale x equals scale, scale y equals scale, and scale z equals scale. Position equals position we get it from props inside of it we render box buffer geometry attach geometry arcs one 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 and that will be the size of our cube and also we need to attach the material a mesh standard material roughness 0 0.5 attach material color color now let's define an effect that will automatically trigger the active state in our box. Before the spring, we define use effect with a callback and an empty array for dependencies. Here we'll store the timeout and then we define a function toggle active that will set the timeout to be the result of calling set timeout that it will do on math random. Math random returns a random value from 0 to 1 multiplied by 2000 plus 1000. Inside of the set timeout callback, we call set active number from boolean that we get by casting active to the opposite value. So if it's zero, then we will treat it as false, cast it to the opposite, which is true, and then cast it to number, which is one, and we set active to one. And then we toggle active again. And then we return a cleanup function. And here, if the component will be unmounted, we'll need to clear timeout timeout this is why we were storing it in a variable now let's go to app.js remove this layout remove app.css and logo import box from box let's make sure that we export it and now render a canvas import it from react 3 fiber 
we add an ambient light. We also add a point light position minus 10, 10, minus 10, and we set cast shadow to true. For the canvas, we can specify the camera position. Camera position minus 10, 10, 10. For field of view is 35. And now let's render the boxes. From minus 3 to 3, we map through X. There, from minus 3 to 3, we map through Z. And there we return a box with position X, 0, Z. So they will always be on position 0 by Y. Let's format the document. Launch the app, yarn start. And as you can see, it doesn't animate and it's too small. Okay, first reason why it's not working is that we're not calling toggle active after we define this function. Let's fix it and look at the browser. Okay, now the cubes are triggering, but they're not triggering back. And this happens because inside of this toggle active function, when we refer to active, it's set during the function definition because it's a closure. To fix it, we'll use the use ref hook. Const active ref equals use ref active. Now we set active ref current to the value of active. And then inside of the toggle active, we use active ref current instead of the active value. Let's go back. Now it works. And we go to index.css and we need to make HTML and body and root element to take width 100, height 100, margin 0, padding 0. And now it also has the correct size. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if it was interesting and I should do more videos about React 3D. Subscribe to my channel, join my Discord server and pick the topics for the next videos. See you next time.